<laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's oh, I hit my nose. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Liz, and today I will be talking about some new vinyl editions that I have added slash collected over the past few months. Honestly, it's not a big pile because I'm trying to save money, but it's still a pile nonetheless. So let's get into it. There are some interesting records in that pile that I feel like, actually, you guys wouldn't be surprised at all. Like, let's be honest. Okay, so the first record I'm going to show you is my high school musical record. <laughs> Here, let's try and get it so there's not a glare on it. I bought the first soundtrack on vinyl and and I regret nothing. I bought this in under a minute of finding out that this was actually being pressed on vinyl. It's a new record for me, honestly. Definitely one of my favorites in my collection just because this is very nostalgic and it just reminds me of middle school days. I like, ugh. I loved this movie so much. The soundtrack was amazing. I am waiting patiently for the next two to be pressed on vinyl because if they're gonna do this one, then they have to do the next two. Like it's. You can't just give us one and not the rest. So I'm waiting and it better happen soon. Fun fact, I know the entire dance to Bop to the Top because I watched it that many times. So we can go with Bop to the Top as my favorite, but like start of something new will always hold a special place in my heart and breaking free, let's be honest. So I have this one and it is pressed on, I think it's gold. It's really pretty. And here is the record right there. It's so pretty. There's Remy hair on it because I took a flat lay of this already for my Remy Records Instagram page. If you haven't followed it already, I post pictures of Remy with my records, kind of the name itself, you know? And I did this and it's one of my favorite pictures that I've ever taken or posted on that account. So go follow it if you haven't already. I will link everything in the description box down below for you guys, as always. Really pretty, love this. I bought this from Urban Outfitters in case any of you guys were interested in picking this one up for your collection. The next one that I have is my all-time low, nothing personal record. It's still packaged because I haven't listened to it yet, but this was a birthday gift from my friend Alicia and you did not have to do this at all like you're a doll and you're an angel sent from heaven thank you so much for this I wasn't expecting this at all Alicia came and visited me and Liz for our birthdays because our birthdays are all like within two weeks apart from each other you did not have to do that you're an angel this is pressed on standard black because it says right there and my favorites on this record are I am basic and I love waitlist because it was like the first song that from all time low that I actually listened to and that's what made me fall in love with their music and then I also like Stella and walls too great album if you guys haven't listened to it already it's amazing. The next one for me is obviously Living Proof by State Champs. I definitely like their first record more than this one because that one's always gonna have a special place in my heart but this is still a great record. I love Lightning, Criminal, and I think Our Time to Go. I think those are my three favorites from this record. So I accidentally bought two and I gave one to my friend Mary because I wanted this pressing. That's the record, it's beautiful. I haven't listened to this album as much as I have with their past records because there have been albums that were released around the same time that I've been listening to a lot more. But still a great record from State Champs. The album art still confuses me. And this is the album that I have been listening to a lot more than State Champs, which is so weird to say. But this one has honestly stolen my heart. Mayday Parade's Sunnyland, incredible. I have been listening to this non-stop. I've played this a lot more than Living Proof or just any other album that has been released this year. This along with Proper Dose by The Story So Far, I have fallen in love with. Proper Dose, I don't have it on vinyl, but that album made me fall back in love with The Story So Far. It's so good if you haven't listened to it already. This is pressed on like orange, I think. It's like an orange, like creamsicle color. It's beautiful, I love it. Orange has quickly become one of my, my favorite colors ever. From start to finish, this album never like loses my attention. It has it the entire time. My favorites on this are Peace of Your Heart, Take My Breath Away, and Sunnyland. I love them so, so much. They're so good. The album as a whole is incredible. If you haven't listened to it already, I highly recommend that you do so. The next one for me is, of course I had to buy this. We all know that I am the main trash, obviously. Um, Less Noise, a collection of songs by a band called The Main. It's just a collection of new and old songs stripped down, and I honestly, this is what I needed in life. We all know that I love acoustic music. I am trash for acoustic music or just acoustic versions of songs, so I definitely need this. Thank you, The Main, so much. You just know me. Um, but this has Into Your Arms, Will All Be, Don't Stop Now, Saving Grace, Some Days, Thinking of You, Blood Red, Forever Halloween, Am I Pretty, Diet, Soda, Society, Bad Behavior, and How Do You Feel. Great collection of songs, and I don't think I have a favorite. I really like Forever Halloween. I just 
always have. But I think that and like Am I Pretty are my favorites that have been stripped down to an acoustic version. So it is like this smoky pink, per it's like smoky pink and purple. It looks purple on camera from what I can see down on the screen over there, but it's like pink red, I don't fucking know. It's whatever color you want it to be. <laughs> It's great, love it so much. And the next and last one is one that I actually got for my birthday. I didn't even know this existed because I would have purchased it already. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the soundtrack from the movie, and honestly, I just, one of the best birthday gifts ever. If anyone ever buys me something having to do with Harry Potter for my birthday, it's obviously gonna be my favorite because Harry Potter just, we all know. I love Harry Potter. But yeah, um, I got this for my birthday. My sister gave this to me. It's great, kind of. There's like a, I'm sorry, there's a glare, but you know what? Do you want nice lighting or not? <laughs> oh god, I wanna watch this movie now. I'll probably watch it while I edit. I love soundtracks, just like instrumental soundtracks from movies. They always just are really good to listen to while you study for anything. There's a bunch of dust somewhere. I listen to this when I edit or I need to plan videos. A good idea if you are trying to study for something because you're not gonna be distracted by singing along to words. That's actually all the records that I have purchased over the last few months. I don't remember when the last one that I posted was, but that's actually very small compared to what I usually do to my bank account. So I'm very proud of myself. I do have one that is on the way or that I will be getting. I did order Can't Stop, Won't Stop by the main on vinyl because we all know I made a video talking about records that I wish were on vinyl and then maybe like a month or later they said that they were pressing it on vinyl so I would like to take credit for that and the fact that it is actually being released to the world so you're welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to know what records you have added to your collection lately because maybe I need something that I don't know that I need. If you did give a thumbs up and comments down below tell me your thoughts on the video and what you'd like to see next. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I put videos out one to two times a week and you can follow me on any of my social media sites at Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Snapchat at Zbeth. And it's the same way spelled on every single account. I hope you guys have a great day today, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I can't do this anymore because it's so—it's not far away. It's just—it's just not gonna fucking work. Okay, bye. <laughs>